But when you're a teenager, you're not ready to make these choices. You haven't developed. You don't know what you're doing. You will have regrets further down the line. And so just because you see your favorite TikTok star getting abs and some pecs saying, hey, I took Rad 140, I took MK, doesn't mean that you should. Coach Greg, and in today's video, we're going over a video done by Josh Brett about SARMs goblins. And if you don't know what that means, well, you're a little like me. And so I looked it up and basically it's teenagers who are going crazy trying to use SARMs to get big at all costs. And the problem is people think that SARMs are a safe alternative to steroids. But the truth is they're not safe. Some of them may have fewer side effects than steroids, but they're certainly not safe, nor should they be used by teenagers. They are quite literally not made for human use. They're originally designed to possibly replace steroids in the future, but at this time, they're simply not at that level. Scientists came up with something better than anabolic steroids. To me, Psalms initially seemed like a cheat code to fitness. Well, if they did, that would be amazing. Build muscle, get leaner, all with 100% safety. That would be the magic pill that all of us are looking for. But SARMs, it ain't it. With steroids, you often have to inject yourself. Well, with SARMs, it's often a nice pill. Steroids are illegal, while SARMs are perfectly legal to buy. While technically both steroids and SARMs are both available orally, that doesn't make them safe. Just because you're not injecting something doesn't mean it's safe. And in fact, sometimes swallowing something can be a lot more dangerous than injecting it. And personally, I think you already know this. I don't think you're all idiots. I think you know it's not gonna be safe. The problem is, you don't care. You care more about growing your followers, having your dream physique, than you do about your health. Ask most kids, would you sacrifice 20 years off your life to look like Chris Bumstead or your favorite movie star right now? Absolutely. Why would I care about that? I don't even wanna to live to be 70. I don't wanna be like my grandma. She's old, she has gray hair. Well, you're saying that now, but trust me, when you get older, you're gonna change your mind. The most common reason for PED use is visual benefits, and social media platforms exacerbate this. Exactly, you want the visual benefits. And because you have access to SARMs, harder to get steroids, that's what you're using. Far more people using SARMs than steroids. While many are concerned this transparency often borders on glorification, Perhaps more concerning is how young some of these users are. And today with social media, you simply can't avoid seeing the advertisements, the articles, your favorite TikTok star talking about PDs, what they took and how much muscle they grew. In comparison, when I was a kid, didn't even have the internet. How would I see it? How would I know about it? It was not something you thought about. You just went to the gym, worked out, home to have a decent physique. And there were no social media posts, Instagram and so on. You look around, you saw your friends, you had a little bit of biceps, you were good. But today, even if you're the biggest kid in your class, there's always someone bigger, leaner, better somewhere else. And so you never feel that you're good enough, hence why people are taking SARMs. They were able to become popular for a loophole. Internet marketers realized if you add a quick little disclaimer stating they're not for human consumption, they're legal to sell. And so they found a loophole. And at first you had to have it as an eyedropper, you know, I'm buying these SARMs and doing an experiment, I want to see if my rat turns green if I give it to them. But that's not what people are doing. Come on, people. You know what people are doing, they're using them. And so if it's for research purposes only, not for human consumption, why does it come in a nice shiny package in a pill? Really. Now, their intended usage has become slightly more blatant. Interestingly though, most knowledgeable enhanced bodybuilders are cautious. And so if I'm seeing a bottle of Hulk pills, I'm not thinking that's an experimental research item to give to my rat. No, I'm thinking that's for me. I want to look like the Hulk or perhaps like Liver King, The Rock, Michael Hearn, and so on. They'll write blogs and articles pretending to be scientific reviews of the SARMs, but in reality, what they're doing is they're trying to populate the first page of Google. And so think of it. You have a company trying to sell SARMs. You write an article and say, this is how great they are. They're not very dangerous. They're all going to give you these benefits. And it looks like a science article. Meanwhile, you're the owner of the company writing the article. Researchers analyzed 44 SARM products. They found 39% contained unapproved drugs like steroids. 25% contain substances not even included on the label. And so think of it, 39% of the SARMs bottles you're buying have unapproved drugs and 25% have things that aren't listed on the label? Imagine getting away with that. And it gets worse. Several contained a drug that was abandoned 
by GlaxoSmithKline a decade ago after it was found to cause cancer in animals. And so that drug that's been abandoned because it caused cancer in animals, well, it's rats and it's actually carterine, GW501516. It's a research drug and it does improve your cardio. I've used it before, coached a number of people have used it. Is it dangerous? Maybe, maybe not. We don't know. But what I do know is what you can get instead, GO2 Max. GO2 Max, similar to GW, but it's not going to cause cancer. Who wants cancer? Cancer sucks. But what it will do, improve your cardio and no, it's not going to build muscle. But if you are able to do better cardio, recover faster, feel better, you can go harder than last time and burn even more calories. Work harder, burn more calories, get in better shape and it's 100% legal. You are not breaking the law by getting GO2 max. It sounds good in theory. However, this is not the reality. SARMs are not liver safe. They're not lipid safe. They're certainly not HPTA safe. They're going to suppress you. And so so SARMs, they basically do the same things as steroids do. Suppress your natural production of testosterone, cause you to build muscle, sure. But what happens when you go off? You get suppressed, you're going to lose that muscle that you built, and you're going to then want to go back on. You might have a lower libido, and so it's not something I'd recommend to a teenager. Now remember, if you're suffering from low testosterone, there are several things that can do, several things that can cause it, not just taking SARMs or steroids, but possibly starving yourself, getting too lean, not getting enough sleep, partying too much. If you're suffering from any of those things, well, obviously change your diet, get things fixed, get the proper sleep, reduce your stress. But what you can also try is G-Test or 3-Test. On the Joe Rogan podcast, Andrew Huberman said that Fidogia Gressis and Tom Cataly, Ali's favorite, can increase testosterone levels by one to 200 points each. And so that is substantial. These are not the test boosters of old. Those, they hardly did anything, perhaps 10, 20 nanograms per deciliter. But the ones of today, they are significantly better, including ashwagandha. Even Jeff Nippert is taking ashwagandha. The stuff really does work. Give this a try. Cold Greg, 10% off. I went blind. Teenagers experience with Psalms was a video posted detailing a user's experience with vision damage. Other users also report an orange tint to their vision. It's actually a yellow tint that you would get. And so some of these SARMs, they are actually quite dangerous, especially when taken in higher doses. But the main thing you should remember is these are not for teenagers. People who take these things, they should at least be old enough to make stupid decisions. People do a lot of bad things in life. People drink alcohol, get drunk, do recreational drugs. These are choices that people make in the real world. But when you're a teenager, you're not ready to make these choices. You haven't developed, you don't know what you're doing, you will have regrets further down the line. And so just because you see your favorite TikTok star getting abs and some pecs saying, hey, I took Rad 140, I took MK, doesn't mean that you should. The truth is, most people that experience side effects aren't gonna shout about them. I know a few people who like to keep this private. And so Josh mentions a lot of people who have side effects are not going to broadcast it. And so a lot of times you just hear the good and not the bad. And also remember this, the vast majority of people who are taking SARMs are not open and honest about it. Same with steroids. People don't want to admit that they're taking it. They do it in secret. And so they're taking these things, showing before and afters, making their natural transformations. Oh, look at me, 100% natural, like the Liver King. Then later you find out they're spending $15,000 a month or more, enough to buy a car, and or they're taking SARMs. They're taking steroids, they're taking something. And so stop comparing yourself to other people. Learn how to train, eat healthy. And remember, if you're young, you're gonna experience newbie gains. Why try and enhance that? You're already gonna be making the progress. Wait until you you're older. For those of you saying, oh, it took me years to get where I am. Yeah, I don't want to wait that long. And so that's the problem. People want it yesterday. They don't want to wait. They don't want to work for it. But anything that comes to you easily that you don't really have to work for, it's not nearly as enjoyable as if you have to really train to get those results. You really have to suffer to put in the work. Trust me, if somebody gives you a million dollars, yay, it's a million dollars. Wouldn't you want to work for it? To study, get an education, and build your brand, and take years, decades to get there? Or would you rather just inherit your million dollars and retire at 18? You'll spend it all, waste it, not appreciate it, and before you know it, in a couple of months, you'll be like, oh, what next? What do we do now? And so no matter how much steroids or SARMs or whatever you take, you're going to be impressed for a few months, sure. But what about after? After you've built that muscle, you're going to want more. 
you won't be satisfied. You'll compare yourself to even larger, leaner athletes and think, oh, I'm not good enough. I'm not good as them. No matter how great you are, there's always someone better. Even Chris Bumstead, Mr. Olympia champion, he could look at Big Ramy and say, oh, I feel small. Look at his arms. Have a healthy lifestyle. Learn about diet. Be consistent. Put in at least a few years of training naturally before you decide to go down that road. No, not a few years. 10 years. A few years. I started training at 10. Should I start at SARMs at 16? Think about it. Chris Bumstead was taking PDs at 18. Shouldn't have started so young. Yeah, he's in Mr. Olympia, but almost ready to retire. He's in his 20s. And so you need to hold off more than a few years. A few years, not nearly enough. Wait till you hit your natural genetic limit and you're an adult. Just because you're 16 years of age, you've been training since you're 13, it's not time to start taking SARMs. You need to wait till you're older. Once you understand that your potential is much higher than you originally thought, you won't be contemplating roids ever again. He's saying, once you realize your potential is so much greater than you think it is. What if it's not? Most people, their potential is less what they think it is. You're thinking, oh, I should gain 20 pounds of muscle my first year. You gain 10. And so your potential is lower. And just because you train, eat healthy, do everything perfectly, does not mean you're going to look like your favorite social media star. And so stop comparing yourself to other people. Have realistic goals. Compare yourself to yourself. And don't do SARMs. Get to your natural genetic limit and be proud and happy of what you accomplished. You don't have to be perfect. You just need to be better than you are. And just because you fix your outer shell, you get leaner and put on muscle, does not mean it's going to change the confidence and how you feel about yourself on the inside. Work on the inside. You are good enough. Be all that you can be. Stay natural. Ending it here. Like the video if you liked it. Highly recommend you go subscribe to Josh Brett. Has tons of amazing videos. Highly educational. Very informative. Please go and subscribe. Watch the bloops. Follow me on Instagram. Greg Doucette. IFBB Pro. Don't forget to use code Greg to save 10% off. Click the link in the description. Also have phone consults, cameos, coaching plans by me and my team. We got the freaking cookbooks, the training books, the circle diet book. And until next time, I am out.